So hi, everyone. I'm Jackie Morales. I am the founder of Oakley Collective, and I have a special time planned for you here today. Um, we're actually featuring our certified leaders, our first cohort, um, and they're here really to share their story, to tell you what it was like to go through the Ministers of Reconciliation program and what it really did for them in this journey of growing into leadership and into ministry. Um, you're going to get to hear from women that um, are powerful, powerful voices, women that are breaking chains off of others, women that love to hear the voice of God and speak that into others. So you've probably already seen them around. You've heard testimonies from them. And honestly, they are some of the, the biggest prayer warriors that I know and women that are w willing to step into the fire for others to see others set free. So I just can't wait for you to hear from them today, to hear their stories and to get a taste of what it's like to be in this community and how God can use you and your story to impact others as well. So I'm just going to start by saying thank you, ladies, for being here. And um, I love you all so much. And um, I, I just, I'm so blessed that we get to live this journey together, uh, walking with Jesus and seeing others set free. So I would like to start with just everyone quickly coming on. And you can say your name, where you're from, and how you got around uh, Oakley, okay? As well as maybe just one um one area of ministry that that you are in right now. So that could even be in your home. It can be in your church. It can be here in Oakley. So again, your name, where you're from, how you got around this, and one area of ministry that you have right now. So let's start with Rebecca. Right. Yeah, I'm Rebecca Florine, and I live in Alberta, Canada. And I had the privilege of meeting Jackie down in Mexico City many years ago um, when we were both missionaries there. And um, so we started a friendship down, down there serving God. And um, maybe about three or four years ago, I forget exactly when Jackie started Oakley, three, three years ago, right, Jackie? It's been two. Um, two, two years. Okay. Um, I would just, God was bringing me through a season of just really desiring community and desiring to live out my faith and to go deeper. And Jackie started posting um, about Oakley Collective and the things that God was calling her to do. And I was just blown away because everything she was posting was what I was thinking. So I was so thrilled to be able to join a community that I um, I trusted Jackie. I knew she was a woman of God. And um, yeah, I took the, the plunge and I've been so blessed ever since. And um, I was a children and youth pastor, but I just recently went on maternity leave. And so now my, my ministry focus is being shifted more towards my home and my, uh, which will be three kids. Um, and so I'm excited for this new season. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks, Rebecca. Yeah. Okay. Kelly, why don't you tell us about yourself? Hi, I'm Kelly Griffin. Um, I live in Boise, Idaho. Um, Jackie and I met, shoot, like four years ago. So I've known her, but I've, I've only been walking with the Lord for like three and a half years. So when I heard about Jackie's Oakley Collective and like what she offered, I was very pulled towards that. And during my walk with her, um, I just realized like, this is my ministry, like inner healing and helping women be free. Um, and then we have a home church and I serve a lot at our church um but I would also say like besides women also like wedding like marriage is a big ministry for me and my husband as well so true yeah thanks yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay Nina hi um I'm Nina and I'm from Florida and I got connected with Jackie, honestly, through a divine appointment um, with my business coach. We happen to have the same business coach and God literally divinely put us together. So she was such a godsend uh, for me in my life. And currently uh, my main ministry 
is my home. <laughs> and then I also have the opportunity and privilege of serving within Oakley at this time while I'm building my coaching program. So, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Nina. Okay, Carla, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Carla Garcia. I'm from Texas, South Texas. Um, so I I got involved in this ministry. Um, I also I also met Jackie in Mexico City when I was also a missionary there, and we just uh, we just became friends, and uh, we just um, uh, connected, and and then uh, fast forward to years after that, I saw that she was um, starting something, and I also wanted more community, um, just like the ladies were sharing. Um, yeah, just community and just um, uh, to walk with like like minded uh, women, um, because uh, friendships has always been um, something that I, I um, like uh, girl friendships has always been something that I I lacked to have. And so I just, uh, I developed um, really awesome friend uh, friendships through this uh, ministry. And then right now, um, I currently, yeah, my family as well is my ministry. Um, and I guess I would say kids too. <laughs> um, I work with kids. And so I feel like, yeah, the Lord's doing something there with, um, yeah, me, me being involved with kids. So I'm a kid, with kids like all, all the time around. I'm around kids all the time. So. <laughs> so good, Carla. Thank you. Okay, Jody. Hello, I'm Jody Severson. Um, I am from Nampa, Idaho. And um, I met Jackie at a local um, local to us, business women, women and Christian women in business networking event, um, and um, just got to know her. And um, yeah, like um, very like minded. And I really appreciated that because being in, uh, in a business, um, I've discovered that I have to be very careful who I listen to. Um, and who I choose as mentors. And after getting to know Jackie, I really, I realized that she um, was exactly what the Lord um, wanted me to, to, um, to be doing, um, to be um, leading other women. Um, and also um, like my area of ministry also is my family. And, um, I, there's a lot of us, <laughs> um, but I'm also a ministry in, in my local church and, um, working uh, on the safety team. So I get to meet a lot of people of all ages, um, and getting to know their stories, um, and being able to be a blessing to them. And I do feel called actually to work with couples. Mm. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Jody. Yeah. I love how all of us have such a heart for our families. I feel like that is something that uh, really draws us all together, making sure that family is, you know, really first and then, well, Jesus first, then our family and then whatever else he calls us to. So I love um, even just seeing how much we've developed as mothers over the last couple of years, you know, and the heart we have for our kids and their freedom and their faith walk. So uh, such a motivator for me, most definitely. So yeah, so now I just like to maybe have uh, each of you share a little bit about your journey. And obviously, we don't have uh, all the time in the world to do this, but uh, just maybe a few minutes from each of you. And what was it like for you to be called to you know, the ministry of reconciliation to deliverance and inner healing. And, you know, this can look different for every one of us. You know, this can look like praying for someone at the altar who has a heart wound and wants freedom or someone that, you know, you work with realizes that they're having 
I, I guess, demonic attacks that they're dealing with. And how do I get free from that? Or, you know, someone that realizes that their children are being attacked by the enemy. And how do we help walk them through that process of finding out what the root of that is and praying for protection? Like there's so many areas, even just in life, not even, not just kind of a, you know, a ministry that is stated deliverance and inner healing ministry. This is a ministry that we use in daily life all the time, including our own lives. So I'd love to just hear for you how you felt like you were called to the ministry of reconciliation, to be a, a light in the darkness, to be love in the darkness, and how God has developed you as a minister. So how you were called and then how God has developed you and even how the program ministries, ministers of reconciliation has helped grow you as a leader in that. So yeah, let's go ahead and start with Kelly. If you could just take like two to three minutes, Kelly, and just share with sure. us. Yeah. Um, wow. So like I said earlier, I've only been walking with the Lord for like three and a half years and when I heard what Jackie was doing and like helping other women like get free like that, I had like this heart tug. And like when I started walking with the Lord, I just went like I didn't just walk with him. I was running. Um, and I felt like this was what he wanted me to do. Like um, I'm like one of my identity words is motherly. So it's like caring for people and wanting to help people and just, being there like whether it's just building trust or just giving them a chance to like get things off their chest or if like okay so I hear that you're you know believing a lie like let's go after that or I hear you know just um just silly stuff that people most people wouldn't even think is a partnership with the enemy and mm -hmm. so when I'm you know speaking into women I can be like okay so you said this a couple of times and I don't believe that and I know God doesn't believe that about you like let's let's break that right and it's it doesn't even have to be an inner healing session it could just be like coffee and I'm like mm, yeah I don't think that's true like let's let's dig into that so um and I I do that a lot where it's just being around people and like listening to their stories or like yeah like what they're going through and even if they've had trauma where I'm like okay so I feel like in that moment you partnered with so-and-so and, -so and like do you want like we could pray together and like I can help you with that so um I feel like a lot of what God's pulled me to was just really like I just want to help people be free mm -hmm. and Jackie what was the other question I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> you're doing great yeah just what it's been like to have the support of the women in the community oh, yeah, and yeah. Wow. And the mentorship and the training to support you in, in the call that God has for you. Yeah. Um, this community is amazing. Like we have all helped each other and been there for each other and um, just have really got to know each other. And it's like some of us are, you know, really clo closer than others, but it's like you find those women that you are really connected to and like can just reach out to like, hey, this is going on like what would you do or hey I need help with my homework because we have homework you know going through the certification and and then we're there for each other and just like online you know we're hey I need a prayer can you guys help me like this is going on so it's just it's been so cool and like when I first started Jackie was kind of like Kelly like I need you like we need let's go come on I need you to help me and I didn't believe her <laughs> <laughs> and I think over these last like six seven months I'm like oh no like yeah no like more women are coming in um Jackie can't do it all by herself and like she's given us this gift to come under her where she has like so much knowledge in this and like she just is a great mentor where she speaks into you and just is like okay so maybe I wouldn't have done it that way like she's very sweet about um everything and she knows like we need reps we need you know, to actually do it, to get comfortable with it. And she's, you know, she can be pushy. <laughs> In hey, the Kelly, most you're gonna way. <laughs> yes. Hey, Kelly, you're going to leave today. And I'm like, uh, what? So I think for me, it's been exactly what I've needed, just that push and that nudge. And 
been really like growing my relationship with Jesus and the Holy Spirit and knowing that Holy Spirit shows up every time. And like, I don't have to rely on myself. I just have to carry him with me. And so I think that growth in that and, and just like my confidence and yeah, it's just everybody, we all go through our process and grow and learn things. And like this, platform of Oakley Collective has just been like exactly what I needed. Mm, so good. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah. yeah, thank you. And I know you have to go because you have a prior commitment, but I would love for you to just, if there's a woman hearing this, hearing your story, knowing that, you know, you are still actually a newer believer and God is using yeah. you to be a minister in this space that maybe yeah. someone might be feeling like, oh, I just don't know if I have what it takes or that just seems too much. What would you say to that woman that feels that tug that you're talking about, sure. but is afraid <laughs> to say yes? I would say, enemy, you be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Like, if you feel a tug, if you feel like this is something that you even just want to learn, like just to, you know, to put it in your back pocket to have another tool, like, of course, the enemy is going to come against you and lie to you and tell you that, you know, you're not good enough or you don't know enough. Like, I went through that with my story and um, God really helped me find my voice and I am powerful and I am like, I do hear from him. So I would just say, like, if you go and, like, just push through and, like, go where God's t- telling you to go, like, amazing things are going to happen. And you're going to look back and just laugh and go, mm, I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So good. Yeah. Yeah. I-, I love that, you know, so much of our journey, I would say, you ladies can chime in on this, that so much of the journey is facing our own battles Mm -hmm. and not doing it alone and having people to remind you of the truth, the truth that keeps us rooted and grounded in what God has called us to. And of course the enemy likes to come after our identity and our call because he knows that we're dangerous to him. We're threatening to him and, and what we can actually you know, breaking strongholds is, is a big deal. So, um, yeah, I just want to honor you, Kelly, for choosing to say yes and even overcoming some of those fears that you had yourself or those doubts or, you know, recognizing when those lies were coming in and um, just so grateful that you're here. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Why don't we go to Rebecca now, if you wouldn't mind, um, just sharing how God called you, Rebecca, and just what he's done in you in this process. Yeah, so um, prior to being a youth and children's pastor for the past four years, I was in Mexico um, for eight years and serving like on compassion, the compassion capacity. Um, And so like I knew I had this heart of compassion and that God would always be drawing me to people um, that were hurting. And I was really growing in, in my yearning to learn more about healing, about physical healing of people. And, um, and so I feel like just this inner healing is coupled with that. Um, I'm just really wanting to see people healed. Um, and on my journey, I, God was breaking down lies and, uh, bringing truth that he is a good God. Mm-hmm. Um, and so this is just, I think it just, uh, just coming together of everything. Um, and just another um, kind of like a tool, but just um, like testimonies upon testimonies of showing how God is a good God, that he does want to heal us physically, but he cares about our heart and he wants to heal our heart wounds and things from our past to give us confidence and to build our identity to move forward into the future. And so seeing multiple women um, experience that and having the the pleasure and the honor of being able to um, to be encouraged by Jack to help lead sessions and see women get that breakthrough has just been so good. And so, um, uh, yeah, I, I think um, like there's not, I'm not practically using it, but like, I know like God is bringing me towards a time, like when I will going to, I'm going to be putting this into full motion, but it's great to have these tools. So that when I am talking with people, uh, which on happens a lot, I can kind of bring up like 
um, like that's an attack from the enemy and, you know, to be speaking out truth uh, against that. And so um, I've just been given a lot of tools and just so thankful for Jackie's program because it's so practical the way that she lays it out, just the practical reading and the homework we get to do. Um, and then being in a, in a group of women that are like-minded, that we have the same language, uh, we know what we're all talking about and we can encourage one another. Um, and like if, if we're going through something personally or if we're gonna be doing a session with someone, you know, we could put that in, in our chat group and just feel so supported and genuine relationships. Like it just blows my mind that we're women from like across different states and I'm in Canada and um, just so thankful for for this community that is very genuine um and jackie uh kelly was saying how like jackie like kind of pushes us into things i would say jackie is so good at knowing each one of us and how we need to be pushed um maybe with kelly she was a little bit more forward but when with me she was just so kind and generous and i just felt um when i was afraid to to lead a session like i felt the confidence to do it because i knew that jackie was there she believed in me um, and uh, having received encouragement from the, the team of saying, yeah, Holy Spirit is the one who shows up, you know, and just having those words of encouragement from other ladies um, has been so good. And so I feel um, a lot more equipped. Um, I feel like I've been given the tools I need. And now it's just matter of fact of stepping out, asking God to give me more opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think this is a great, a great program. I'm so glad that I decided to invest into this um, time and financially, and it's just been just such a blessing in my life personally. Um, so, so, so thankful. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, Rebecca. And I forgot to mention that. So Rebecca actually went through the Freed Called and Empowered program. And then she went, came into the Ministers of Reconciliation program. And mm -hmm. now we have the dual option because I saw in you ladies how how healed and equipped you become, mm -hmm. you know, when we pursue our own healing and then we walk into being ministers, we are just so much more effective and so much more confident and able to hear what God has for us, knowing our identity. Mm -hmm. And um, I've really seen that in you, Rebecca, like mm -hmm. coming into a space that was maybe different than what you were used to, but recognizing that God met you there and that he had so much for you, you know, it was that step of faith that you took to say, yeah, I'm, I'm already ministering. I've been a missionary, like I'm a pastor, but that humility to say, like, I want to keep learning and growing and I want to be equipped even better for the people that I'm going to minister to. And mm -hmm. so I just know, I mean, I've already heard stories from who, you know, the people you've been able to minister to you to in your family and your church and um, I just know that all of this is going to continue to propel you forward and all that he has for you. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, just honored to know you and to walk with you in that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you mm -hmm. OK, Nina, would you like to go next? Sure. I think I remember the questions. The first one is basically how we felt called into this ministry. Yeah. OK. Um, yeah, so for me, it was one of those things where I have been um, working along the lines of this, but never knew about this. So I had already gotten my life coach certification. I was looking into more worldly and new age ways of healing and being a believer my whole life had never, ever heard of the ministry of inner healing and deliverance. I actually was taught that deliverance wasn't for Christians. Mm -hmm. um, and so once the Lord began to open my eyes and uh, bring this ministry into um, my life, it was like one of those moments where it's like, okay, well, how can I not share this? You know, like when Jesus radically heals you, touches your heart and changes your life, you just want to like go help everyone walk through that because you finally found truth. You know, you found um, what the cross offers us. And so um, that is kind of how I got pulled in. It's kind of funny. I started in deliverance. Um, mind you, I went from not even believing that it was for believers to the Lord just throwing me in. And then around the time that I um, started learning about inner healing, it was just me and the Lord in the secret place. And he was 
doing such a work on my heart. And I was like, what is going on? And I started researching it and the Lord supernaturally connected me with Jackie. And that's why I, to go into the second part of the question, I'm so grateful for this community because at the time I, I didn't know anyone else who was talking about it. Um, I had so much trauma and healing that I needed to do. And I, everyone I knew was doing new age things. And so it was just like a breath of fresh air to hear Jackie teaching the truth from the word of God and how Jesus offers us healing. Um, and then it was also one of those things where I felt isolated and alone because no one else knew what I was talking about. They kind of thought I was crazy. Um, so having this community, having this mentorship with Jackie, I'll never forget um, our first conversation. She just poured into me and um, she's just an incredible leader. And there's no price point that you can put on a program like this, you guys, because this is literally the process of sanctification. This is us growing so closely with Jesus Christ. And the fact that we can not only walk through that, but also get equipped through the leadership program to help other people do that. Like that's, that's why we're here. So yeah, this community has been a blessing. Jackie is a phenomenal leader. She just, the way she pours into us and, just to piggyback off of what the other lady said, she's so good about um, knowing each of us and being led by the Holy Spirit to say, okay, it's time for you to step into this or pray about this or, you know, just to pull on our strengths and um, help us grow in our weaknesses. So yeah, this community, the program, everything has just been such a blessing in my life. Oh, thanks, Nina. That's perfect. I love I remember our conversation initially where you were like, I've been praying and asking God, just like, how do I walk in this? You know, and I love how he brings us together. It's truly him writing our stories and the fact that we get to merge our stories together in different facets. It just makes it so much more rich. I know my life has been impacted by all of you ladies and hearing the stories of how God uses you the ways that you pray for me, like it's such a, yeah, it's, it's like finding the gems out there, you know, the women that have this heart and mind, it's, it's from God for sure. So I just love that you are here and that you continue to serve and be such a powerful voice in our community. So, yeah. Okay. Carla, would you like to share how you, we're drawn to, you know, the Ministry of Reconciliation and the program and just what it has done for you. Yes. Um, so I went through um, the F FCE program. And then after the FCE program, I went through the Ministers of Reconciliation program. So prior to the FCE program, um, I've always hungered for um, commu one community. I've always hungered for um, just like a discipleship kind of um, relationships. Um, like back when I was going to college, I was I was going to um, it's called inner varsity, and it was a ministry where we got discipled, where we learned the Bible, where we we learned a lot of things. And so I just desired that so so much. Now as a as an adult, as a mom. Um, yeah, I just hungered for that so much. And when I saw Jack, again, Jackie uh, starting this, I was, I just wanted to jump right in. And of course there was, there was a lot of um, fears. There's a lot of um, just, cause I come from, um, I come from, uh, I was raised a, a, a Catholic. So I was not sure of all these things, just how Nina was saying, I, I did not, I did not know what inner healing was. I did not know what deliverance was. Um, I was unsure about all these things, um, but just I, I just because I knew Jackie, I knew that it was it was going it was from God. I just knew it, and um, yeah, I just jumped in right right in there, and um, I feel like I was just called because just I just had that hunger for God. I just had that hunger for community, um, yeah, and just I just wanted to be discipled more and and mentored more. And she's an amazing just how the ladies have been saying, she's been a wonderful mentor and leader. Um, um, yeah, and uh, what else? Um, yeah, and and of course I, yeah, again that fear came and and I, yeah, 
it was not like how Nina was saying, it was not something that you heard um, from my family, like from this side of my family members. And um, I also felt alone and isolated. And mm -hmm. it was just, it was just really different. Everything was different. Just, it was, she, she she's taught us to grow intimate with Jesus um, and just not, not the not the Jesus from a God from long time ago or it's just a God that I don't know it, it's just that Jesus is real and God is real and, and and Jesus wants to have an intimate relationship with us mm -hmm. um but yeah and um what else um what's the next question <laughs> sorry no, that's fine. Yeah, just so you talked already about how it's impacted you. How do you feel like it's impacted your ability to serve and be a leader in the, the places that God has called you to be? Um, I feel like it has given me boldness. It has given me um, courage, it has given me just the tools and the resources that has been given to us Um. um one, one huge thing I can think of, of forgiveness and just how to walk through forgiveness. Of course, um, dealing with yourself, dealing with your own um, sins, dealing with your own um, just, um, yeah, things but you have in, in, in there. Gener I, I could think of another big one, generational curses and, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, just uh, bringing lies off of, of who you're not and, and just, um, yeah, and just th those kinds of resources and 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 tools, I feel like it has helped me. Um, because I work in a school, has helped me. Um, even pray for those students' families, and even speaking words of encouragement to um to moms. Um, I'm also I feel like I'm called to gear to to moms, and and mm -hmm. I don't yeah, and so just speaking encouragement to to those women. And, um, yeah, I just, um, yeah, I feel like this ministry has helped me just gain more confidence and boldness and just, um, um, yeah, just tools and resources. Um, yeah. And so I just been so blessed, um, in this ministry and I'm just so excited, um, just to learn, to continue to learn more with, um, these group of ladies. Awesome. Thanks, Carla. Yeah, and I love that you have that heart for children because that is an important part of what we do, you know, starting at home, but spreading out because the enemy really loves to come after the most vulnerable. And we as the mama bears out there, we, you know, we need to know how to pray powerful prayers to protect our children. So um, I just love, Carla, that you carry that so well. So yeah. Okay, Jody. Go go right ahead. Share with us how God drew you to the ministry and then um, what it has done for you in developing you as a leader and, and yeah, just a person of impact wherever he, he sends you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so I, when I met you, Jackie, um, that was, I think within a few weeks, um, you were hosting a group inner healing. And that was the first time that I've experienced that. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, I, um, similarly to what Nina said, um, the, the mentors that I had come across, um, or coaches that I had come across, um, have had kind of a new age-ish lean to it and I and I knew that that was not of God I knew that's not what um what God wanted me to be involved in um and so I had to be very careful and why I got to know Jackie a little bit um but that was the first time and that I had been through an inner healing session um wow spoke volumes to me and Jesus was right there with me. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and it just, some of the explanations of how like Jesus uses parables in scripture, he uses pictures. And so it's okay to use our imagination mm -hmm. to visualize Jesus. Mm -hmm. Um, and so things like that, uh, 
you know, we're just like amazing. God knows what we need to hear when we need to hear it. Um, but what drew me specifically or drew me specifically into the ministers of reconciliation uh, program is I, I have family members, um, some of whom are estranged from others. And my thought was, oh, I will learn how to help them reconcile whatever differences <laughs> may be the case. And one thing that God showed me just I don't, within the first couple of weeks, I, I had this aha moment and it was just the Holy Spirit. And he said, people can't really be reconciled with each other until they're reconciled to me first. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Yes, God, thank mm -hmm. you. You know, so then it's just been this journey of, um, you know, making sure that I'm staying on track and being obedient to the things that he's led me to do, whether it's um, more bold in prayer, whether it's uh, memorizing scripture uh, and things like that, that that he's called me to do. Um, and, and just remembering that I need to be obedient in that, but then utilizing that to, um, to help others yeah. recognize his voice. Um, because that's one of the things that in this, uh, ministers of reconciliation training is I have really learned to become more aware of the voice of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when something comes to mind, a thought or whatever, uh, I used to think, oh, that's just a random thought. It's mm -hmm. not always. Right. Um, if it is Christ-like in nature, if, if the thought or idea um, exemplifies the character of God, then it is of God. Um, and so I've, I've really learned to, um, to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and I'm able now to help others hear that as well. Mm -hmm. So good. Oh, I love, I love hearing that because that is, that's my heart. Like if we can come to a place where we're confident that God speaks and we can hear him, man, we're unstoppable right? We can walk into any situation trusting that he's going to be with us, that he's going to speak, and that he's going to do the work in us personally and in the person right in front of us that we're praying for or ministering to. <clears throat> and it's that confidence that does make us unstoppable, but that healing process, that ability to hear him clearly, like that is what is needed. And so much of the time it's because we've believed lies about ourselves or God, and we don't know how to even go and begin ministering to someone because of that cloudiness. So I just love hearing that in you, Jody. that he, <clears throat> he's done that for you and that you have the boldness in your, your voice um, to, to be able to speak into others. And I feel like that's a theme that I'm seeing in many of our stories here, <clears throat> that knowing our voice and speak like actually using it is so much a part of what he's called us to, you know, and in in the conversation with the one and, you know, in the group setting in prayer, like our voice is so, so important. So I just love that. Is there anything that you ladies, as we wrap up here, any word of encouragement that you would like to speak out, like if the Holy Spirit's tugging at your heart, you know, for any particular woman that might be hearing this and needs a word of encouragement or just belief poured back into them. Is there anyone that would like to, to speak on that really quickly? Yeah, go ahead, Nina. Yeah, I just feel like the Lord dropped on my heart to encourage mothers. Um, I know for me, for when it like when it comes to something I'm going through, you know, I can kind of half pray, like whatever. 
But when it comes to like my child going through something, I something comes over me. And like Jackie said, just the mama bear rises up. Um, so even just having these tools for your family, for your children, um, is going to be crucial because we know that the enemy tries to wound us and traumatize us while we're young. Like that's where most traumas come from. And so our children are going to walk through things like we believe that they're covered, but we also can raise them to be emotionally mature, to have a connection with God, to hear the voice of God. We can help them through different things that they're going to face as they're growing up. And I just, for me, that's such a motivator. Even if you're like, well, I don't know if I'm called. Well, if you're a mother, I just want to encourage you that you are called. Because you're called to be the spiritual guardian over your children, over your family. And so I just want to encourage any mothers who are like, hmm, kind of thinking about it. It's worth it for your children. Yeah. And um, these tools are transform transformational. And if we had these growing up, we wouldn't be <laughs> we wouldn't be sitting here today. You know, well, maybe we would encouraging, but, uh, <laughs> you know, we would have uh, spared us a lot in life. So, yeah, I just want to encourage any mothers to just go for it. God is calling you uh, to be the ministers of reconciliation in your home. So mm, that's so good. Yeah. And I mean, anyone who's heard my story knows that I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for my children. Like I wouldn't have had the motivation to get the level of freedom that I have if it wasn't for my kids. Because we know that even as those spiritual guardians, what we carry in our hearts, wounds, patterns, generational curses, all of that, we pass that on to our children. So for me, that was a huge motivator was saying things are going to be different for my kids. And it has, and it, there's been up and down moments in that process, but we know that it's worth it. All of us here know that it's worth it. All of us here are mothers, all of us fight for our children in prayer. And so um, I am in agreement with that word for sure, Nina. Anyone else? Yeah, go ahead, Jody. Um, so similarly to what Nina said about being a mom um, and mothers, you know, we pray for our kids. Um, I also want to appeal to you if you're a wife. Um, I believe that the enemy is attacking the family unit, the family nu nucleus, which was ordained by God. Um, and, and I really think uh, that we need to um, really focus on protecting our marriages as well. Um, so if you're a wife and you are hesitating, uh, I really want to encourage you um, to join this program. Uh, it will be, as Nina said, very transformational. Yeah, that's so good, Jody, and you're so right. Um, we want to be on the same pages with our spouses. Like I know even my husband, Edgar, when we partner together in prayer for our kids, even like that is a huge deal, but that comes from having that united whole and healed uh, marriage as well. So yeah, thanks, Jody. Anyone else? Go ahead, Rebecca. Uh, yeah, I just feel like to encourage anyone who is just desiring to go deeper in their relationship with God um, to to take that next step to want to live out your faith more actively. Um, this is a great way to do that. You will be you will learn so many things about Jesus. You'll have so many beautiful encounters with Jesus um, and you will feel equipped and you will feel empowered. Um to live out your faith uh, in all areas of your life. And so if you're looking for, for a place to do that, this is a great place. And for someone out there who is asking, like, is this the right place, you know, for me to invest in? Because I don't know if you're like me, but I'm like, what, what are, what are all the options? You know, if, if you have that hunger, um, you want to learn about um, how to be a minister of reconciliation, how to do inner healing. If you have that hunger, um, I think that that coupled with the Holy Spirit and this program, it, it's what you're looking for. Um, there, Jackie has set it up so beautifully. 
uh, it's Holy Spirit led. She's put together, you know, with God's guidance. And um, this is a great place to invest your time. Uh, and again, like financially invest in. Um, it is just, it's a wonderful program. So yeah, together with your hunger and the Holy Spirit, um, this is a, this is the right place for you. So good. Yeah. And I, I love that we're all, you know, we really are sisters. Like we, we truly care about each other's lives and circumstances and, you know, we're the ones praying for each other. And so uh, I love that, you know, you, you said that Rebecca, just recognizing that the Holy Spirit does speak to us and he opens opportunities for us. And it's really our choice to, to, um, to trust him and make decisions in trust and in faith. Right. So, yeah. Okay. Well, um, I feel like that's a good stopping point for us. Um, I would love if one of you would like to close us in prayer and just pray over every woman that hears this and is bringing, you know, this decision to the Lord of, is this my place? And, um, you know, what, what is the way that you're going to make for me so that I can walk this out? Maybe you are that busy wife, busy mom. Maybe you have a lot of things on your plate. Maybe you're a minister that's already maybe a little burnt out, you know, um, maybe you've lost hope in the calling that God has for you or the enemy's really just been oppressing you and causing you to think that, you know, that this dream is gone or that this this is something you couldn't do in the current life stage that you're in or just whatever it is. I would love for someone to just pray and just speak life over every woman that hears this and um, just to leave with a sense of clarity and a sense of peace. So yeah, who, whoever would like to pray, you go right for it. I'll pray. Hey, okay, thanks, Jody. Um, yeah. Oh, God, we just thank you for meeting us here today. Um, I know that when I'm with my sisters here, that you are just in the midst of our discussion and in the midst of our conversation. Um, Lord Jesus, I just ask that you um, just nudge the women that you have um, that you have planned for them to join this group. Um, and, and become a minister of reconciliation. Um, Lord God, I, I do speak life into them. I, um, I pray for, uh, just renewal and revitalization, um, and, and hope as Jackie had said, um, God, if there's a concern with finances that you would just provide that, um, in just a miraculous way that they know that that you are calling them to do this. Um, I just ask that um, that you give them clarity. Um, each each woman that is listening to this um, within the next coming weeks or even later, um, that you would just give each woman clarity um, over this decision. Um, and um, the desire to to grow deeper in relationship with you, that is your desire for us. Um, and then to learn how to equip other women to do this as well. Um, we thank you, God, for what you're doing in the lives of everyone here in this group um, live on Zoom currently, um, and then also what you're doing in the women who will hear this message um, in the future. We thank you for working in our hearts and in our minds, and we thank you for drawing us closer to you. In Jesus' precious holy name, amen. Amen. I'm also just going to speak a prayer. I just yeah, thank you, Lord, that you have called all of us in some form or of an, another to be those ministers of reconciliation. I thank you for these women here that um, 
chose to trust you with their future, their finances, their impact, their families, Lord. I just want to bless them immensely and just want to also just um, rebuke any of the enemy's lies that have tried to come against any woman hearing this message and speaking words of condemnation or low, you know, bringing low self-worth to the surface. Lord, we know that you are above all of that and that you speak a better word over us and that your word is what will stand. And so we just in agreement right now with my sisters here in agreement, we believe that you are breaking down lies and strongholds and that you are bringing your women into your marvelous light, Lord, to be that shining, bright, uh, beautiful witness of you, Jesus, to those around them. And I just thank you that you are calling women to pull others out of the darkness, that the darkness has to flee when your light comes. And so we just call upon you, Jesus, the light of the world. And we ask, Lord, that you would remind us of how brightly we are to shine for you and that the darkness has to go. And so we just speak to any darkness in any woman's heart right now. And we tell it to go with the authority of Jesus Christ. And we ask, Lord, that you right now would even speak uh, identity and truth and just breathe life back into them right now, Lord. And I just thank you that you are raising up your army, Lord, your army of women who say yes to the call to use their voices boldly, to speak with authority, to pray with power, Lord, to be those women that will stand in the gap and who will set the captives free alongside you, Jesus. So thank you for this empowering moment, Lord, this marking moment where you are calling us and where we can say yes and amen to your plans. Give this all to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Awesome, ladies. Well, thank you again. And we just bless all of you that have been a part of this time with us. Know that we are praying for you that you are on God's heart and you are on our hearts and we can't wait to see you join us and to partner together in seeing um, just God bring life and light to the people around us. So we'll see you soon.